Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, you'll learn how to connect Cloudflare to N8AN so you can automate tasks like updating DNS records, managing firewall rules, or monitoring events. This setup is useful for website administrators, developers, and anyone who wants to simplify how they manage their Cloudflare account through automation. First, make sure you already have accounts for both Cloudflare and N8N. You'll also need your Cloudflare API token. This token is what N8N uses to securely access your Cloudflare account. To find it, log in to your Cloudflare dashboard. Click on your profile icon in the top right corner. From the menu, select API tokens. Then click on Create Token. You can use one of the templates, like the one for editing DNS, or you can create a custom token. Be sure to include only the permissions you need for your workflow. After you create the token, copy it and store it somewhere safe. You'll need it in a few moments. Now, go to your N8N dashboard. If you're using a self-hosted version, log in using your web browser. From the right-hand menu, click on the plus icon and add a node of Cloudflare. Then click Create New Credential. In the search box, type Cloudflare and select the Cloudflare API credential option. You'll see a form with fields for email and API token. If you're using the newer API tokens, you only need to enter the token. Leave the email field empty. Paste your token into the token field, then click Save. Your Cloudflare account is now connected to N8N. If the node runs successfully, then your connection is working. From here, you can build more advanced workflows. You might trigger updates to DNS records based on data from other nodes. Or you could monitor website changes and adjust Cloudflare settings automatically. The possibilities are wide and N8N gives you a lot of control. That's all you need to connect Cloudflare to N8N. It only takes a few steps to get started. First, get your Cloudflare API token. Second, add the token as a credential in N8N. Third, create a test node to confirm that it works. After that, you're ready to build whatever automation you need. Keep experimenting with different nodes and triggers to make your workflow even more powerful.